Well, Pearson Airport is cracking down on drivers who don't follow the parking rules. Starting today, if you pull over on one of these roads here that lead up to the terminals, you could be getting a $75 fine in the mail. Um, but these tickets are not being issued by Peel Police or by law enforcement officers in Mississauga. The tickets are being issued by a private company, and this is raising some concerns over your privacy. As of today, the company Indigo Park will be roaming the airport grounds, taking pictures of cars that are parked in no parking zones. The information will then be sent to the Ministry of Transportation, and for a fee, your name and address will be released to the company. Former city councillor Howard Moscow, who was the driving force behind banning these private tickets in the city of Toronto, says there are many issues with what's going on here in Mississauga. It's a cash grab. The airport is grabbing 75 bucks from people. And the province, who shouldn't be giving out the license plate data to the airport, uh, is, is grabbing cash because they're getting 14 bucks for every piece of data they give out. The Ministry of Transport is at fault uh, because they opened up that data to private uh, enforcement firms, which they should never have done. No province in the country except Ontario has allowed them to get that data. If they're truly interested in enforcing parking problems at the airport, let the Mississauga police who police the airport issue parking tickets. And then people will have a right to go to court and dispute them. Tear them up and phone their provincial member of parliament and ask them why the province is giving out their name and address uh, to a private collection agency. Now, if you do get dinged at the airport here, the $75 fine will arrive in your mailbox. If you don't pay that fine, it won't affect your driving record or plate renewal like a municipal parking ticket would, but it could be sent to collections and you don't have an option to fight it. When you get a real parking ticket, mm -hmm. a municipal issued parking ticket, you have the option to challenge it in court and you can dispute it. So people who get these fines have no option to challenge or dispute the fine. Uh, people who, who get the fines and who feel that they may want to dispute it can call Indigo Parking. But you can't properly challenge it in, in a court like you could a parking ticket. It's, it's not the same as a parking ticket and, and again this is why we've decided to call it a mobile payment notice to avoid uh, confusing drivers and you know we, we obviously don't want them to think that they're getting a municipal parking ticket when that's not the case. Well, the GTAA is actually asking drivers to use the cell phone uh, parking lots that are located on Network Road in Mississauga. So uh, you're looking at one right now. It's a free place where you can park and wait. And um, they're just a few minutes away from the terminals. Also, uh, these orange barriers you can see here, these have been installed over just the last few months, and they are to deter drivers from pulling over on the side of the road. The problem is these have to come down in November for snow removal.